Elizabeth and Janine, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today. I, for one, am incredibly excited about this. I think this is so cool. All right, so we have the Idaho Sled Dog Challenge, which is a qualifier for the Iditarod race, right? The world-renowned race. We're lucky enough to have a race like it here in our state. Now, I understand you guys are racing in the 100 miler, but this race overall, the Idaho Sled Dog Race, is known as one of the most grueling mushing competitions in the entire world because of our unique Idaho topography, right? So with that being said, what makes you wanna compete in something like this? I've heard some mushers say, it's like climbing Mount Everest twice. So this is a really big deal. It's crazy um, that we live here, we train here, we know what it is we still want to go race in our <laughs> hometown. I, I dream of flat ground someday but I've only ever trained here between McCall and Idaho City so it's my backyard it's home and I love being out in the woods whether it's summer or winter so mm -hmm. I think being able to run and train here gives us an advantage because it's something that the dogs are used to and thrive in the environment. So I think it actually gives us a, a, a heads up um, being able to train on this terrain and having these trails open to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think you both make a really good point there. You know, it's it's all that you know, right? You know, the dogs <laughs> I like what know. Liz said, the flat trail sounds nice one day. <laughs> <laughs> you dream of it, but in the meantime though, having access to this topography uh, just makes you that much stronger in the competition, right? So so how did you become a sled dog racer? How does that begin? It begins with a dream. Um, I started, I went to the winter carnival when I was 14 and they had a dog demo and oh, I wow. just thought it was fun. But of course I was 14 so I didn't do very much about it for decades and the itch never went away. I always dreamed of doing it and everything and I even went to school in Fairbanks, Alaska, so I got to go to the Iditarod and dog handle and see what it was all about, and I was even more hooked. So then I just had to wait for life to come around to the right spot, and I was given the opportunity to get a couple of dogs and start training. And I did the book learning, and I watched videos, and I made new friends, and I finally am living my dream right now. So you never get too old to start a new goal. That is so true. How amazing. So it all came together for you. The universe spoke and here you are doing what, like you said, you've dreamt of doing. And what about you, Janine? For me, I grew up in Vermont and so I was surrounded by winter sports participating. Um, and it was always something I would read about or see on TV and I just thought that looks so cool. Mm -hmm. And um, I, did, I worked up in Alaska for a summer, so I got to see some sled dogs firsthand and learn about the history and the importance of it. And um, then in 2020, I met my partner, Kevin, and we've been mushing, running together ever since. So again, the universe just has a funny way of making things happen like that, but you gotta work for it too. <laughs> It's, it's not just you competing, but it's a team. You are literally part of a pack. You have dogs that you have to rely on and work together as you all work together towards this goal. So what's that like, having such a close relationship with your animals and, and training together and then working towards a race? Oh, the dogs are the best part by far. I mean, they've taught me so much about being patient and being resilient and being out there in the outdoors with the team, it's really pretty special. And all their different personalities and how they come together as a team and just so proud of them. They're really the stars of the show. <laughs> Janine said it, we're really the weakest link on the team, even though we're in charge. Um, <laughs> they are so much stronger than we are they can pull up that mountain but we're still pushing the sled up behind them and running and trying to help them as much as we can they need less sleep than we do um they they just love eating when we when i slow down my team always looks back and goes hey mom aren't you coming come on let's go we're not done <laughs> so like, Give me a minute. do you realize we're climbing a thousand feet in three miles so how do people come and watch you guys 
So our, we will be starting in Cascade. We have a checkpoint at Little Ski Hill, and then we'll be at, ending in Council, and all of the information is on the website. So you can see us take off, you can see us maybe be pulling in the finish line, and uh, it should be really fun. I think, you know, since the race was canceled last year, we're ready to get back out there and um, run. Rush. <laughs> yes, run. Well, to both of you, good luck and looking so forward uh, to seeing how this all goes.